Oladadural trade name Striverdi Respimat Strive RD Res Pimet, is an ultra-long-acting beta-adrenoreceptor agonist ultra -laba, used as an inhalation for treating patients with chronic obstructive pulmonary disease COPD, manufactured by Boringer Ingelheim. Medical uses Oladaterol is a once-daily maintenance bronchodilator treatment of airflow obstruction in patients with COPD including chronic bronchitis and or emphysema, and is administered in an inhaler called Respimat Soft Mist Inhaler. As of December 2013, Oladaterol is not approved for the treatment of asthma. Oladaterol monotherapy was previously evaluated in four Phase II studies in asthma patients. However, currently there are no Phase three studies planned for oladaterol monotherapy in patients with asthma. Adverse effects Adverse effects generally were rare and mild in clinical studies. Most common, but still affecting no more than 1% of patients, were nasopharyngitis, running nose, dizziness and rash. To judge from the drug's mechanism of action and from experiences with related drugs, hypertension, high blood pressure, tachycardia, fast heartbeat, hypokalemia, low blood levels of potassium, shaking, etc., might occur in some patients, but these effects have rarely, if at all, been observed in studies. Interactions Based on theoretical considerations, co-application of other beta-adrenoceptor agonists, potassium-lowering drugs e.g. corticosteroids, many diuretics, and theophylline, tricyclic antidepressants, and monoamine oxidase inhibitors could increase the likelihood of adverse effects to occur. Beta blockers, a group of drugs for the treatment of hypertension, high blood pressure, and various conditions of the heart, could reduce the efficacy of oladaterol. Clinical data on the relevance of such interactions are very limited. Pharmacology Mechanism of action Like all beta-adrenoreceptor agonists, oladaterol mimics the effect of epinephrine at beta-2 receptors in the lung, which causes the bronchi to relax and reduces their resistance to airflow. Oladaterol is a nearly full beta-2 agonist, having 88% intrinsic activity compared to the gold standard isoprenaline isoproterenol. Its half-maximal effective concentration EC50, is 0.1 nm. It has a higher in vitro selectivity for beta-2 receptors than the related drugs for moderol and salmeterol 241-fold versus beta-1 and 2299-fold versus beta-3 adrenergic receptors. The high beta-2, beta-1 selectivity may account for the apparent lack of tachycardia in clinical trials, which is mediated by beta-1 receptors on the heart. Pharmacokinetics Oladaterol is substantially metabolized by glucuronidation UGT2B7, UGT1A1, UGT1A9, and O-demethylation CYP2C8, CYP2C9. Pharmadynamics Once bound to a beta-2 receptor, an oladaterol molecule stays there for hours. Its dissociation half-life is 17.8 hours which allows for once-a-day application of the drug like with indicatorol. Other related compounds generally have a shorter duration of action and have to be applied twice daily, e.g. for moderol, salmeterol. Still others, e.g. salbutamol, albuterol, phenoterol, have to be applied three or four times a day for continuous action, which can also be an advantage for patients who need to apply beta-2 agonists only occasionally, for example in an asthma attack. History On 29 January 2013 the U.S. Food and Drug Administration FDA, Pulmonary Allergy Drugs Advisory Committee PADAC, recommended that the clinical data included in the new drug application NDA, for oladaterol provide substantial evidence of safety and efficacy to support the approval of oladaterol as a once-daily maintenance bronchodilator treatment for airflow obstruction in patients with COPD. On 18 October 2013 approval of oladaterol in the first three European countries, the United Kingdom, Denmark and Iceland 
was announced by the manufacturer. On July 31, 2014, the U.S. Food and Drug Administration approved Striverdy Respimat Oladaterol Inhalation Spray to treat patients with chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, COPD, including chronic bronchitis and or emphysema that are experiencing airflow obstruction. References External links Official site Striverty Package Leaflet, UK